Hey there, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can make simple 8-bit music for your games. I'll be using Mixcraft 8 for this tutorial. It can also be used to make 8-bit sound effects and non-8-bit music as well. So first of all, I'll open my browser and search Mixcraft. I'll open the first link and then click here. I'll scroll down and click on Download Free Trial. When the download is finished, I'll open and install it. Mixcraft has been installed, so now we'll install a plugin for the 8-bit music. So I'll google magical 8-bit plugin and open the YMCK link. I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page and download the Windows VSTi edition. You'll get a small zip file. So I'll open it. I'll open the folder and this DLL file is the file we need. So I'll right click on Mixcraft and select open file location to open the folder where it is installed. There I'll open the VST folder. Now I'll copy the DLL file and paste it here. Now we can open Mixcraft and start making music. Now make sure this option is ticked and then press OK. Now this demo song will open up, so I'll stop it and create a new project. Here I'll set the audio tracks to 0 and instrument tracks to 4 and then hit OK. Now you can see our 4 instrument tracks here. You can double click inside a track to create a new loop. That loop can be edited here under the sound tab. So I'll create a really basic loop. Now let's make it sound 8-bit. I'll click here to change the instrument for the first track. Under the category, I'll select VSTi Instruments. And there I'll select the Magical 8-bit plugin. And now I'll close this window. Now I'll go back to the start and play it. And you can see it sounds 8-bit. You can also press Ctrl Alt K to open up a virtual keyboard. Now I've created a new loop. You can repeat a loop by stretching it out from the end, so I'll set it to repeat 4 times. Now I'll change the instrument for the second track and select the magical 8-bit plugin. Now I'll click on edit to edit the sound. I'll change the first parameter from square shape to triangle shape. Then I'll open the virtual keyboard to check how it sounds. And now I'll close these windows. And now I've made a basic loop for the second track. I'll move the loop so that it starts from the 5th beat and make it repeat 3 times. Now we need to add some 8-bit percussions. So I'll open this link which can be found in the description and download the zip file. This zip file has a lot of 8-bit percussion sounds. So I'll open it. I'll extract the main folder to my desktop. And now I'll open Mixcraft and add these percussion sounds to its library. I'll click here and then here to add a folder. I'll select the NES samples folder from the desktop. And you can see that all the sounds have been added to the library. You can also play them from here. Now I'll edit the third track and here search for Omni Sampler and select it. Then I'll click on edit. Now I can add sounds from the library into the sampler. So I'll add two sounds. Then I'll 
Now I'll open the sound tab and then create a loop for the third track. You can see that the sounds I added are here. You can also lower the volumes of tracks if they are too loud. Now I'll move it here and extend it. Now I'll open the Omni Sampler again. I'll open the library and add another sound. Then I'll use the new sound in the loop. And now I'll save the project. And now let's save it as an mp3. For that you can use the save as option. I'll select mp3 from this list and give the file a name. Then I'll hit save. When the mp3 is created, it'll open up in a media player. Thanks for watching and I really hope it helped you. Check out my game maker tutorials here and subscribe for more. So I'll see you in the next one.